So I was having trouble visualizing these ABG practice problems using the Rome method or the tic-tac-toe method. So this is just a little thing that I came up with that has helped me out. And I thought I would run it past you guys to see if you liked it. Basically, you draw three number lines, pH, CO2, and bicarb. Acid side on the left, alkali side on the right, and add in your normal ranges. You can do this one time on a piece of paper. You can do it for every problem. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be this neat. Um, and then you just plug in the information from the question, and it's pretty simple to visualize after that. I took question 9 and 6 from the worksheet. And question 9, the pH is 7.55, so it's on the alkali side. The CO2 is 34, also on the alkali side. And the bicarb is 26, which is in the normal range, but still a little up towards the alkali side. When you do your CO2 line, make sure that these are backwards like this. The larger number on the left, the smaller number on the right because the more CO2 in your blood, the more acidic it is. So this has to be a little bit backwards. If not, the visualization doesn't, doesn't work as well. So you can just see by looking at this that you have alkalosis caused by the rep respiratory system, so respiratory alkalosis. You can see down here that the bicarb is not opposite of the CO2, so it's not compensating at all. And we're still outside our normal range up here, so we can see that it's not compensated as well. So what we have here is uncompensated respiratory alkalosis. It works for the other problems as well. I didn't notice that this was dead on when I picked it, so there might be some debate about this, but 7.45 is in the normal range. CO2 is 28. So that's pretty well done here on the alkaline side. And your bicarb is 20. And that's down here on the acid side. So we can see that we have respiratory alkalosis, but our pH is kind of in the uh, normal range, which, I mean, it's not kind of in the normal range. It is in the normal range. And our bicarb down here is compensating to make up for this. So since this X is on the same side of the line as the problem with the CO2, then we can see that it's respiratory alkalosis and not metabolic acidosis, if that makes sense. That's what this 7.4 line is. If this was over here, like this, then you could see that it would be metabolic acidosis and that the respiratory system is trying to compensate for it. But since these two X's are on the same side, you can see that it's respiratory alkalosis and the metabolic system is trying to compensate. So we have fully compensated respiratory alkalosis. This method is a lot easier for me to visualize personally. You can do this really quick next to every question on the test if you want it to. Or you could do it once at the top and just use a pencil and erase your marks when you're done. Like draw this in pen the way I use permanent marker here. Then use a pencil and erase your marks when you're done. And it's pretty easy to visualize the correct answer on these. So I hope this is helpful.